Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tara Nella. Today I have a super exciting video for you and I have worked so hard for this video so please give it appreciation, give it a like, um, let me know if you like this type of video because in today's channel messages is going to be three different parts to this reading. So I have a collective message for you right now, so stay tuned for that. After your collective message, you'll be taken straight forward to the pick a card section of the reading. In that reading, you can pick the group you feel most called to and there will be your message there. But your reading does not stop there. You will then get to click your timestamp below of your zodiac sign. So I have zodiac sign elements prepared for you, which is um, earth, water, fire, and air. But under each element, you will have an individual message for your specific zodiac sign. So this is going to be urgent messages for your immediate future, positive changes, things that are coming your way, what you can expect. So before I get straight into the messages for you, if you would like to book a personal reading, I'm always available to take private bookings. So if you like how I read and you have a situation that you need some clarity on, my link is in the description bar below. You can either book on my Etsy shop or you can just contact me by my email. So as always, please take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. And remember, you have free will to change your future. So let's get started. I'm so, so excited to get into these messages for you. So this is a collective reading for you all, all my subscribers, for anyone who watches this video right now, anyone who needs to hear this message. Okay, so what is in the collective? What is going on with the collective? We have five of wands. What's this five of wands energy? Seven of swords. Ooh. There seems to be some type of distance in the energy right now. Something distant. Maybe you have got distant with someone or something in your life. It seems a bit like there's a gap and something needs to fill that gap. Um... So I'm definitely seeing there's definitely some challenges that you're facing right now. Big changes. Separation anxiety is what I'm hearing as well. And with the Seven of Swords, this is about you reflecting on something that has been taken from you. Because I feel there's this message of like... Some of you have had something that possibly was taken from you. Because the Seven of Swords is really like the energy of something being stolen something kind of um, being taken right underneath your nose. And that five of wands is like that separation distant energy. Okay, so this could represent something very physical for you. It could also represent like the mental clarity of something that just hasn't been in your reach just yet. Um, I do want to find out more what this is. So let's clarify more of the seven of swords. Okay, we have the kin of swords okay so in the kin of swords perhaps this will resonate for aquarius libra gemini or this is the energy of communication there's definitely something social in the energy that i can see that there feels like some type of mental block something standing in the way of you feeling Feeling like something is playing on your mind. Okay, something is playing on your mind. What is this energy? What's playing on your mind? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Kin of Pentacles. So we have uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy now. Okay, so this is about starting a new chapter. So what's playing on your mind is a chapter that perhaps, please focus, yeah, this is a chapter that you haven't quite started yet. 
Maybe it's a chapter you're afraid to start. Definitely with this pentacle energy, definitely corresponds to some type of work or education. Okay, others you, obviously it's a collective, could be a relationship because the Seven of Swords can talk about deceit, cheating and lies. But, yeah, I just feel this energy of a new chapter that started that maybe you just you're just not quite there you there's a gap that needs to be filled for you to feel fully comfortable and stable in this position let's see what else this can be strength we have a leo energy okay so strength really does correspond to being strong when it comes to making brave decisions and new chapters are always scary they always take us out of our comfort zone Okay, so I feel like there is this message here to continue on this path that you're on because I feel like there's going to be a lot of benefits coming from this. Okay, I feel like this is really connecting to moving forward. You have two number eights that's come out in your reading now. So that's a strong indicator of manifestation, moving forward, taking action. And there definitely is this infinity symbol, which is really positive because it's letting you know that something that you felt distant from okay isn't always going to be like that it isn't always going to be feel so separated feel feeling so like i almost feel like some of you really like have lost yourself in this way where maybe some of your self-confidence has been taken from you some piece of you has been taken from you wow okay let's just see if we can clarify a little bit more of what this could be what is the energy of this message we have karmic relationship karmic relationship so as you can see, we have quite a lot of opposites here with the owl and the raven. So it definitely is corresponding to balance, duality, differences. Like again, look how look how insane this message is. It's separation, it's distance, something to do with this karmic relationship. Because karmic relationships are they're intense connections, okay? They're intense connections um driven by like passion and drama okay so some of you could be going through a lot of drama right now so people drawn to these intense relationships can feel an instant connection to their partner um but they find it challenging to maintain a healthy or stable relationship with them and that's kind of that message there isn't it turning that chapter trying to find that healthy stable balance in a relationship or a new a new page of your life that you are starting um can we find out more about this energy okay we do have a sacred friendship now sacred friendship you know we have the fox the fox represents quite a cunning quite a almost very cheeky and you know mischievous animal so i do sense that there is something in the energy of you feeling like keeping something close maybe this is about you not opening up feeling distant from something um it could even be not opening up with yourself but i definitely feel a sacred friendship is about possible relationships and friendships in your life okay maybe some of you are distant from friends right now as well i'm picking up that message like there is just this gap there is this distance and this blockage that needs to be filled can we find out more about this energy yeah we have release desire to control so with release desire to control again this is about things that we can and can't control so some of you could be dealing with some struggle right now because you want to control the situation and you can't. It's like out of your hands. Okay, what else is this energy?
allow divine timing this is a really beautiful message because this corresponds to you allowing divine timing to bring you back together to something okay to bring you back together from this separation from this distance from this gap to put you on that right page allow a divine time in okay so let's see what else we can find out about this energy yeah we have the six of wands and the nine of wands so again it's, it's really just showing that when it comes to you and your energy you're feeling maybe a bit tired a bit exhausted a bit blocked because there has been some delay that's kept you from a situation or a person okay and what i'm seeing is it's to do with like some type of appreciation it's to do with some leveling up it's to do with your surroundings as well as what i'm picking up i feel like there's something about you being seen being seen being heard being listened to and appreciated so let's just close this reading up because i really want to get straight into the next portion of your reading so can we get a message final message that you need to know in the energy oh death what a what a card to end your this portion of the reading on so death is a powerful card it's a major arcana it's a major major event in your life and this is the day of the dead thing this is really corresponding to endings a rebirth a transformation renewal allowing divine timing to take control of karmic relationships releasing your desire to control because the universe is kind of protecting you and preparing you for a brand new chapter so i feel like again there's this unsteadiness of this like distance the gap that we keep it just keeps popping up and it just has to be it just has to be kind of put out there to you to acknowledge but the the death card is kind of letting you know that even though things seem a bit shaky a bit scary a bit like distant from something right now because i just keep hearing distant 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 the new chapter and the page that you're turning ha is going to happen for a reason. It has to happen because I feel like maybe it's just stagnant energy. If it doesn't move, it doesn't shift, then you're not going anywhere. And I feel like it's important to always be moving, always get that energy rolling. So this is why we have the death card for you because there is a new chapter coming. So to follow with this reading, which will take you straight to the pick a card and we can find out more about this new chapter transformation that you're going through but before i get into that i do just want to clarify for who this reading may be for so i'm going to use some charms to throw onto my quartz crystal just to be specific on who specifically this message is for so let's see some signs if this message was your message okay so I'm seeing this strong connection to if you are a Pisces. If you are a Pisces, this reading may be for you. Okay, this message may specifically be for you or if you have placements in the 12th house. So I feel like if you're intuitive, this reading is definitely for you. So we have strong connections to feminine energy here. Okay, some of you, um, this is to do with being a female, being a parent, a mum. Um, a lots of like sisters or feminine energy in the family um, I'm also seeing a connection to like if you have purple hair or some street of color in your hair um, four letters in your name possibly we have the connection to X okay so I feel like there could be an X you're thinking about if you've recently broken up with an X or you were thinking about an X when you were listening to this reading um x could also be a place a name we have the eiffel tower as well so this could represent travel maybe you live in paris or abroad or not from the uk um you could be traveling this this week 
we have the angel wings so i can see there's definitely messages when it comes to spirit when it comes to your faith um you may actually wear um an angel symbol an angel wing uh clothing jewelry uh, we have the four leaf clover which again could be a symbol of something you're wearing you could connect to the color green you may be wearing green we have the puzzle piece the boat the pliers yeah so i definitely feel like um there's this connection to the, a job you do you have a job where it's very hands-on you fix things you like you work things you make things putting things together putting pieces together that's definitely what i'm hearing something to do with your career um and the boat is a symbol of a connection to water signs it's also a connection to to a boat or a fish so some of you definitely have connections to owning fish where again this could be symbolic of trips um a childhood memory you have with a boat is what i'm picking up um here and some of you are wearing polka dots some of you have brown eyes this message may be for you so now let's move on to the pick a card hello everyone welcome to this pick a card reading so this is going to be what unexpected and positive changes are coming for you so hopefully you enjoyed the collective reading and hopefully it resonated for you so this part of the reading is going to be more personal and more accurate because you get to choose the pile that you feel most called to so this will be your intuitive message i have prepared three different decks with three different feathers to help you choose what you feel most called to so for group one we have the dead weight tarot with the pink feather group two we have the blithe doll tarot with the um yellow greeny feather in group three we have the ghost tarot with the dark patterned feather so take your time if you need to meditate on which group is calling you the most out of one two or three when you feel ready you can click your timestamp, which is linked down below in the description bar and that will take you straight to your reading feel free to pause the video if you do need do need more time but I'm going to start with group one, which is the dead weight tarot and the pink feather. And for the rest of you, I will see you at your timestamp. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So you chose this pink feather and the dead weight tarot. So let's get straight into your reading to find out what unexpected and positive changes are coming your way. For group number one, what positive changes are coming your way? Group number one, what positive changes are coming your way? Okay, so we have, first we have the Emperor, we have the two, um, sorry, the Four of Pentacles and the Magician. So already I can see that the positive changes that are coming your way, especially as you have the Star card at the back of the deck as the overall energy, is letting me know that you have something that you are manifesting. There's definitely something that you're manifesting right now that seems to be taking place. Okay, and now I do feel a strong presence towards um, stability and foundation because you have two number fours in this reading. So this definitely is reaching out to the number 444. So the angel number 444 is all about being assisted by your guides. It's about having a strong foundation and stability and support in your life. So pay attention because you will see the number 444, especially, especially after this um, pick a card reading. So we have the energy of Aries energy here. So it's a very driven energy that's going to kind of push you forward 
for the unexpected and positive change that's coming your way. The fact we have two major arcanas as well and one at the back of the deck is definitely about huge, huge energetic shifts that are going to be taking place. I'm hearing for a lot of you this is definitely to do with career or money. Um, I do feel like a lot of you seem to be manifesting this more than love. Okay, um, for some of you there is this connection to um, holding things together, keeping things aligned and tight. So I think, you know, there is a strong message here to basically that the changes come in are like some of you are actually like having your own business okay some of you may be you know working from home or you have a new idea or a sideline that you want to set up so maybe you're just handcrafting something you're making something um i sense a lot of positive changes in the sense that you are making profit from something that you have created because the magician card definitely speaks of a super um energetic uh field of tools and materials so i feel like this is like very kind of materialistic in the sense that some something is bringing you more abundance it's bringing you more luck um it's bringing you to again your true purpose you know the star card at the back this is your true path so you are being guided to follow the star to follow where it leads because i feel like there is so much more you can do with this idea Okay, so I definitely feel like for you, group number one, are manifesting something that's going to make you more profit. Something that's going to basically put you on that platform, giving you a start. So you definitely have a fresh new beginning coming for you. Now, this pick a card is going to be a pick a card within a pick a card because I have group one, group two and group three here of cards that you can pick and this is going to be a month of the year that this shift may happen for you that it may take place so what i want you to do is to focus on one two or three of these months of the year and i'm going to turn the cards over one by one so you can receive the card that you've chosen okay so just just breathe and i'm going to take it a minute or two because I don't want you to rush and as this is reaching a wide audience I don't want there to be oh I should have picked that one so just take your time now and we're going to see what card you may pick out of one two and three again you can pause the video if you need time but I will continue with the reading because I know a lot of you have picked already so if you chose the card number one here, we have the month of November. Okay, so November is the month where something brand new will be entering your life and it will be blossoming. If you chose the card number two, the month of September is when there is going to be major positive changes and something unexpected coming your way. If you chose the card number three, then you have the month of December, which is when something major will happen for you of a positive change. So hopefully that was quite exciting and different for you to pick a card within a pick a card, um, which hopefully will help you to, you know, stay focused around that time. So let's further on into your reading to find out um, what other unexpected and positive changes will be entering your life. Okay, so for group number one, what unexpected and positive changes are coming for you? Okay, so we have the anchor as well as the old man. Okay, so the anchor is about stability and security, which is exactly what ha has been channeling for you, group number one. Because again, this resonates to that number four. It resonates to something that you are plotting and planning. So this is really about having a firm hold and something taking off. Like you have found something that you want to stick with. 
So this is about you finding your anchor in life, okay? Finding, which could be a relationship. Maybe this is going to be a more stable relationship coming into your life. Um, but it definitely does seem to me that you are going to have something of a permanence in your life. Something permanent that you've manifested, that you've secured, and you've landed that position for yourself, okay? So this is a very strong um, positive symbol for you that's coming. We also have the old man, which is inheritance. So this is interesting because for some of you, group one, you may actually be receiving some type of inheritance. So I've been channeling a lot of money for you, group one. So this corresponds to savings, investments, finances. Um, overall, there is going to be some material or financial gain when it comes to you inheriting like um a large sum of money which again may be something you manifested or maybe something that has been granted and given to you so the old man and male can correspond to someone in your life as well so this old man could be someone of this emperor figure which is a a father figure a grandfather you know maybe there is something happening of a change within your family within the next few months but this makes me feel like you have an old soul and something from your legacy and your family bloodline is being inherited to you as well. Okay, so remember these are positive changes. I don't feel like there's anything negative around this old man. It corresponds to also helping and giving, okay, because this is a very much energy where you want to help others. So you may be doing something that's very helpful to others and there definitely could be a strong male presence coming into your life of an unexpected change. So let's see what else. Can we get another message for group one? What unexpected and positive changes are coming to you? We have the dog. So the dog corresponds to loyalty and determination. So wow, this is definitely the fact with the anchor and the dog corresponds to someone in your life or something in your life that's going to be a reliable source. This is all about determination, loyalty, trustworthy energy. Some of you may even be getting a dog or an animal. Um, that's another channeled message for you. But unexpected and positive changes that are coming to you is having a lot more fun, having a lot more respect, a lot more playful energy coming into your life as well. Um, but the dog with loyalty can definitely correspond to strong loyalty in career, friendships and love. So let's see what else is coming for you, group number one. If you like this setup, this new setup I created, please let me know in the comments. Um, we have all my little animals here today. <laughs> So group number one, what unexpected changes are coming to you soon? What unexpected and positive changes are coming to you? Okay, so we have the card of balance. So this is all about balance. Remain composed for your inner world is reflected into your surroundings. So this is about this center and serenity that's coming to you. So you are basically starting to balance everything on top of each other, which again is about gain. Okay, I see that this is something that's gaining on top of something. It's gaining momentum. So this is about you, you know, having more composure and feeling more patient with the world because you are basically... What you, what surrounds you is what you are reflecting on. It's what you are attracting. It's like, you know, when we feel happy and positive, we then attract positive things into our life and vice versa. So this is really about you creating a center and a main focus. So what other unexpected and positive changes are coming to you, group number one? Okay, so we have the card of decision, free will, and judgment. So you are going to have to make a decision on something, but you have free will and a choice to do this. 
So there is a message here to just don't let anyone judge you. Don't let anyone, you know, knock you down and knock that balance off. Because what I see coming for you, group one, is you have you have freedom, you have a choice and you have movement that you can do. You're not stuck, you're not trapped, because remember, you hold that anchor. You hold that anchor where you can place it where you want to go. So this judgment energy is definitely connected to, again, strong connections to balance in your life that's come in. Okay, and what I'm also seeing is some of you may be going on holiday. Um, again, that could, that could correspond to the month that you chose out of those three pick a cards but I definitely see some of you are locating and having like a peaceful time away so this is the unexpected positive changes that are coming to you group number one um, if this resonated for you if you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment and subscribe it really does help my channel to grow and I'm sending you so much love and light but please click your um, zodiac sign. So to further on with your reading, um, your zodiac signs are put into elements. Okay, so we have earth, fire, water, and air. So click the timestamp below, whatever zodiac sign that you fall under, your Pacific zodiac reading will be there. So to make sure you click your timestamp for your zodiac reading, which can be also sun, moon, rising, if you would like to look into further zodiac readings, but make sure you skip ahead right now. So yeah, I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. So you chose this beautiful um, yellow green um, feather. So this is the Blythe Tarot. So we're going to find out what unexpected and positive changes are coming to you. Group 2. What unexpected and positive changes are coming to Group 2. Group two. What unexpected and positive changes are coming to you? Okay, so first we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Moon. Group 2, what unexpected changes are coming to you? Okay, we also have the Three of Wands. And we also have the Queen of Cups at the back of the deck. So what I'm sensing for you, group number 2, is that there is definitely something emotionally happening for you. Something definitely that has almost caught your attention is what I'm hearing. You have strong Pisces energy here in the centre of the reading. Over here we have Cancer and Scorpio as well. So for a lot of you there is just a strong connection to feeling a certain way about a certain thing or person. Okay, I think what's going to happen is you are starting something new, uh, uh, something new that you have thought about doing, okay, with this Ace of Swords, corresponds to something that has just clicked and it started to take fruition. So the moon in the centre is the major event here, and this is that energy of, you know, um, you really kind of having no more fear or anxiety towards, you know, making certain decisions. This is really about finding your true path, your purpose, and I think, as you can see with this moon, with the face inside it, it really does show that you're going to show your true colours. Something is coming to light for you, group two. Something is strongly connected to coming to light. I really feel like someone's going to be gifting you something, or there's just some bra major breakthrough mentally. So if you've been struggling like mentally, because I do pick up that message as well, it's kind of letting you know that the next few months the unexpected and positive changes is this is going to start to move in a better direction for you okay 
Um, some of you may be becoming more spiritual. There could be a spiritual upgrade coming to you. You could be having more intuitive dreams, messages, because it's all in the mind is happening for you. And it's sometimes it's better to manifest um, physical changes in our body and our mind than materialistic things because we have to work on self-love. We have to work on self-care and I think that is a message of you know positive changes happening for you is you're starting to feel a bit better so maybe you you know you've been going through a bit of a tough time okay and this queen of cups at the back is letting you know that there is this loving caring motherly energy here for you some of you may even expect a pregnancy and the reason I'm picking that up is because the queen of cups you know she's very much um as you can see on this card we have these little We have these kind of cherub baby figures here which corresponds to possibly like um, birth of a child so for some of you there could be fertility on the way if you are hoping to conceive especially because the moon this is about intuitively knowing something intuitively knowing something within your body again this could be connected to a pregnancy for some of you and highly group two you are very intuitive you kind of know know things already because the Queen of Cups, she is known as the intuitive as well. So I actually feel like what unexpected and positive changes are coming for you is actually like a lot more like psychic gifts or knowledge. And we all have that energy we can tap into, okay? And with this Three of Wands, this really does show that there is growth, communication and expression coming. But you just need to be able to look for it. Because this is the energy of when something has come into sight it's come into vision because you can see it now you can see the bigger picture so again it talks about a major breakthrough for you it talks about a major um change that's happening that's very positive so i feel like there is a strong connection to movement this could be physical movement there could be physical travel you going somewhere but i definitely feel like things are starting to like be more positive for you so within this reading, I have three different cards of the month. Now this is a pick a card within a pick a card. So we have group one, group two, and group three. Now what I want you to do, group two, is to spend a minute or two to just decide which of these three cards are calling you the most. And I'm going to go through each individual card to channel the message of the month of the year that where you will expect some unexpected change okay so you can pause the video if you do need more time but i am going to work with the first card of group one so if you do choose this card then this will be your month okay so we have the month of november okay so something positive is coming to you in november Again, this could be pregnancy, career, relationships, health, but November is standing out for the people who chose group one. Group two, we have the month of September. So September is going to be the month where you will be making a lot of plans. Um, again, this is a very good month to go away to get away so if you chose the card to then september there will be a positive change coming so if you chose the third card then you have the month of december so again this is about positive changes that will be happening in december for you so that's towards the end of the year so hopefully that resonated and hopefully these blessings will come to you whatever month has come out for you for a reason so let's move on further into your reading to find out the positive changes that are coming to you. Group number two, what are the positive changes that are coming to you, the unexpected positive changes? Ooh. so first off we have the old woman and the heart okay so the old woman and the heart so this corresponds to um a female in your life 
okay who could be uplifting your mood this could be your own feminine energy within you but this corresponds to you know this could be that queen of cups energy who is a mum she's a grandma um so there's definitely a lot of strong feminine energy in this group as opposed to group one so group two i feel like there is something perhaps you've wanted for a long time and i think this card has come out because this is urging you to do that it's urging you to make some change because if you don't then this is almost like a warning that you will become an old woman full of sadness who hasn't achieved all she wants to achieve so it's just literally saying that you need to think of the long run the long goal where do you want to be in say like 20 to 50 years from now it's a kind of a message to let you know that you have support you know this old woman could also be a spirit guide okay guiding you but i feel like as i was picking up earlier that you've been struggling with some type of mental health or certain issues with your feelings this is why we have this female who is basically trying to rid you of any sadness now the other card that come out was heart so heart connects to love and new love so group two if you are single it's a very very good symbol and sign that you may be meeting someone and maybe the month you chose could be the month that this may happen for you but this is definitely letting you know that there is love coming into your life unexpected love now love comes from all sources it doesn't just mean romantic some of you it could be a new friendship it could be a baby it could be reconnecting with some old family members it's love is everywhere and it can be seen in anything we feel or touch so i think that's a beautiful message that your heart is going to be very much fulfilled with newness and the other card that come out for you was birds so this says news and messages so you will be receiving messages okay this is like unexpected messages that are going to be coming your way that you maybe you didn't expect okay so there is going to be a positive message coming to you this could be news of love news about this female it could be you know something you've been waiting to hear back from so that's a positive change that's coming So let's take a look into the other unexpected changes that are coming your way. For group two, what unexpected and positive changes are coming your way? So we have the shell and we have frozen. So in the shell, this is certain matters in that this situation are not being communicated. So this is hidden, deserted. So this makes me feel that there has been something you've been waiting to hear back from. This is why we have this news and messages card because I feel like some of you may be waiting to hear back from a job, an interview, um, employment. Uh, this could be to do with university college some type of position or maybe you're waiting to hear back from someone you're interested in this has been hidden for a while for a reason and it's finally coming out of its shell it's finally going to be communicated to you and we have someone or something in this situation has gone cold some things are meant to remain in a state of winter others can fall out and be brought to life again so this clarifies for you group two that something is going to come back to life so what's going to come back to life is something that was once lost okay something that i feel is connected to your heart becoming alive again your heart beating for something again okay um so something you thought was not moving not going anywhere you felt stuck and frozen there is this shift now that it's basically clearing its way okay so something is going to come to life in your life so this is really about that newness okay um so again this is to do with the challenge or the bleak or dormant time you've been going through will pass because the ice cannot last for long okay 
So group number two, this is the reading I've received for you on the unexpected and positive changes that are coming your way. Now this is not the end of your video, I have recorded a zodiac reading as well for all the elements earth, fire, air and water. Okay, so if you want to tune in to your zodiac reading, which I advise you do for more accurate readings, click the timestamp below, whatever your zodiac sign falls in, that will be your timestamp and it is for sun, moon and rising. So I will catch you at your timestamp of your zodiac reading. So I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello group number three, welcome to your reading. So you chose this feather with the ghost tarot. So we're going to get straight into your reading on what unexpected and positive changes are coming your way. So group number three. What positive changes, unexpected changes are coming your way? Group three, what unexpected and positive changes are coming your way? Okay, we also have the four of cups at the back of the deck as the overall energy. So I'm going to pop that here. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have um, a Temperance and we have the Ten of Swords. So group number three, I'm picking up strong Sagittarius energy. So this is all about balance, organisation, healing, harmony and forgiveness coming. So I feel like there is unexpected changes of something to do with something you are learning, a new skill, you're studying something. This is all about I'm sensing some type of financial situation that's going to happen for you. I almost feel there is an end because the message I'm hearing right now is there is an end to a debt. Something's being cleared like a loan or some something you took out that you have to pay back is coming to an end. So that is a positive change of financial um, secureness of moving ahead in a positive direction. Okay, so I'm just hearing that message for some of you who are a little bit stuck under the water. It's kind of letting you know that that is going to change. Okay, there's definitely some clearance here. Okay, I sense so much a flow in this reading when it comes to like any like things just being more cleansed, clear. So this is really about you just getting your, you know, your stuff together. So I feel like you're really getting in tune with the surroundings, the foundation, the stability and ending and completing things. Especially because of this 10 of swords, you know, it's kind of letting you know that, you know, there's an end to some type of suffering or pain or burden that you've been going through. And this is letting you know that you will pick yourself up again. So if you've been going through a challenging time, it's kind of letting you know that it's over. So nothing lasts forever, as they say. And I think that is what's moving to this energy, is letting you know that you are becoming cleansed and pure. Okay. There's a lot about setting intention here. And I think what I'm seeing with your overall energy is that you are getting some type of, like, opportunity of luck. Because someone's going to help you. Someone is helping you out. Whether this is someone who's from the living or on the other side. I feel like you're getting signs and synchronicities and messages that are going to just flow to you. Okay. So if you've been worried about rejection and things not working out. The positive changes are letting you know that there is actually some type of opportunity coming your way. There is something that's going to pull you out of that rut. That's going to pull you out of that situation that you felt a bit kind of encaged or trapped in okay so this is really about going with the flow making positive changes to your bank account you know whatever or whatever you're studying whatever this you know 
whatever this is kind of earthly survival instinct I'm picking up of something you have to do daily and it can become um, a struggle this is going to improve this is going to get better because again I feel like there is more help and support than you know so I think the next few months are going to be very important specifically the next four months I'm hearing for you group number three now I do actually have three cards that have months of the year on so this is going to be a pick a card within a pick a card so I want you to pick out of one two or three okay now this is going to be a month from the rest of the year where this positive change or something unexpected is going to happen for you and it's a really good month to focus on okay you can pause the video if you do need time for this but obviously this is a collective ring so I do just want to get straight to your individual months of what you've picked if you've picked number one this will be your month okay so this this is your card if you picked number one you have the month of November okay so November stands out for you if you chose group number one that will be your month where there will be many blessings and something positive that will happen for you if you chose the month here of the second card then you have the month of September this could be when plans happen this could be when something changes but you have the month of September now if you chose the third card the month of the year for you is the month of December okay so hopefully this will help you to focus on what you need to focus on within the next few months and towards the end of the year because these are the three standing months that have come out for you. So let's move on to your oracle cards to find out what unexpected changes and positive changes that are coming to you. For group number three, please. What positive and unexpected changes are coming for you? We have the horse. Can we find out more about this energy? We have the bear. Can we get one more from this deck, please? Positive changes coming for you. And we have the envelope. Wow. Okay, so group number three, I can already see that there is going to be something you are taking action towards. The horse corresponds to freedom, movement, direction, travel, destination. This could even mean, you know, a new car could be coming your way, okay, or, or you pass in a driving test or some type of race this is about the horse of winning the race and i think that is this unexpected change that's coming to you is you are breaking free from something now we have the bear which is in the center and this is about strength and resourcefulness so this is, again is letting you know that whatever you hunt you are hunting for in life you are going to get this is letting you know that you have strong instincts and you have strong resources so this is about something that's either materialistic it's something you're learning it could be to do with relationships but i feel like the bear is very much letting you know that you are very resourceful here you have so much knowledge about something so it's again a very win energy of you taking control taking action with your strength because you feel really confident here really confident and it's because you are getting a surprise in the post this could be an email it could go through your letterbox but this is unfolding surprise of an envelope so this is letting you know there's an important document or message of a letter that will be delivered to you and again it could correspond to the month that you chose um, 
just before these cards but there definitely is positive news that's going to be arriving to you so let's see what other positive changes are coming to you so for group three what unexpected and positive changes are coming to you Okay, so we have the card of explore new territory discover so this tells me that you are going to be exploring some type of new place some type of new area okay so this could be you taking action because again number 44 corresponds to action taking place okay so I feel like you will be going somewhere and this new territory is almost like this bear discovering somewhere that it wants to be. Okay, so you're ex discovering somewhere new. This could be a new home. Some of you could be moving home. I'm hearing that message. Some of you are exploring the world. This new territory could be finding your place in a new job. Okay. So what other positive changes are coming to you, group number three? Okay, so we have the card of blockages, obstruction and barricade. This is kind of letting you know that there is something that is getting out of the way for you. This is not going to be blocked and getting in your way for much longer because you have a new territory. You have somewhere to go. You have news on the way. So again, this is letting you know that there is something you're reflecting on. Okay. And I feel like this is letting you know that nothing can stop you now. That's why I'm hearing. Nothing can stop you getting this letter, getting this strength, getting to this new territory. You really are being offered something. You're being offered something. And I feel like this is an opportunity you're going to take. You're going to fry from it. Um, I just feel like there is something that you're leading to. Something where you have to move to get there. And you're going to discover so much when you get there. So this is really about any blockages or things that have been holding you back are being removed. Okay, so this is what I have for you, group number three. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully this gave you some clarity and insight into the unexpected and positive changes that are coming your way. So your reading is not finished. It does not stop here. It does not end. I have filmed um, the elements of the zodiac signs. Air, water, fire and earth. So wherever your zodiac sign falls in, the timestamp is linked down below in the description bar. And that will take you straight to that reading where we can get more into detail, into personal predictions for you. So make sure you click your timestamp for your sun, moon or rising. And I will see you at the click of your timestamp down below. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. So this is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So just cleansing the area before we get started on your reading to find out what is coming for you. Major changes, shifts. What's coming your way for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Science Aries Leo Sagittarius, what's in store for you? Okay, first we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Strength card, and we also have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so interesting. And we have the Wheel of Fortune at the back of the deck. 
So the overall energy is like there is something very, very unexpected that's going to happen for you very soon. Okay, so I feel a little bit of a shock to the system, but perhaps for some of you this is a good shock. What I'm sensing to have strength in the centre of your reading proves that there is some something strong that's going to happen. Now, the Seven of Swords, I feel like you have been chasing something and almost some of you have gotten so close to getting exactly what you want. Others of you need to work a bit harder to get there because I feel like, you know, something is catching you out here. Something just isn't strong enough yet in the momentum. But the Ace of Swords lets you know that there is this new beginning, there is something coming in the energy that is leading to new thoughts, new action, a new way of thinking. So I feel like it's almost like if something doesn't work out for you and something you've been chasing, it could even be a dream you're chasing, and you feel like you just can't quite get there. You keep running, you keep chasing this dream and it's just not happening. You need to remember to be strong because through strength there are weaknesses. Okay, and what I'm hearing for you, Aries Leo Sagittarius, is some of you will see strong connections to numbers 231 and 28. Okay, or 190. Those could be specific numbers with those coordinates or individual numbers. I'm also seeing um, for you to work with purple crystals. Roses are, and sunflowers are symbolic. Okay, so again, when we're looking for signs and synchronicities from the universe, if you haven't already asked for them, I feel like these will be symbols um, that you may see. I feel like a lot of you have a spirit animal as a lion or a cheetah. Okay? And others of you, I'm seeing birds, but specifically like white or black birds, okay? Um, I feel like there is messages here to work with like herbal remedies as well. Um, I'm hearing there is someone who is quite... There's definitely like something deceitful here in the energy and when it comes to um, some of you have a friend that isn't trustworthy. Okay, now obviously that's not a great message to deliver, but I do feel like there could be someone who may not be very trustworthy here um, in your life. But I feel like the universe is going to take control of that. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune has your back and it's here to let you know that there, there is some type of like senses that you're going to you'd be sensing um especially to do with like scents there's definitely a strong scent you're going to smell okay so this smell it could be flowers um it could be like a burning sage lavender smell is also what i'm hearing okay so again very specific messages that are coming through um there's definitely things about like egypt or ancestry some of you have connections to that line as well but I just feel like you are have some type of cycle that you are starting, okay? So this Seven of Swords is letting you know that there is old feelings that you are leaving behind because there is this fresh beginning happening for you, okay? So I also feel a lot of you can should work with... Um, like green crystals yellow crystals um i'm seeing like emerald citrine as um crystals as well to help guide you through life i know so sometimes we need a focus right sometimes we need to a focus on something um i feel like there is a connection to like being in order being in line okay so this order in line is very much connected to getting your life together, you know. This could be you making orders, taking orders. There's definitely something across that line as well. Um, 
So let's move on further to some further messages for you. But I think communication, I think strength seems to be very important of the changes that are coming for you. So let's see what else is coming. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else do you need to know? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Hunter. What else can we find now? We also have Meditation and we have Door of Dreams. Oh, I love this. This is so um, connected to your energy because I feel like with the Strength card, you know, as I said, you're connected to lions and, and cheetahs, leopards. I feel like the hunter is you hunting for what you want. Hunting and getting it. As we said, the Seven of Swords is about you going and getting something, right? So there is something that you are trying to get. Some of you are winning at this and some of you are failing at this. But that just means that the failure is temporary. This means that it's just a something you just haven't quite reached yet. But the hunter is letting you know, keep hunting. Because the more you hunt, the more you find and the more that you will gain. Meditation is in the center because again, this is about you meditating, okay? Because I feel like the universe wants you to focus your mind to some place, okay? So again, there's like something visual, I think, that you think about, which is gonna help, is gonna help you along your path. Because I feel like some of you could be meditating about some specific path now i'm also hearing some of you are into like i don't know some of you are into like witchcraft or witchy things there's definitely something coming through about being part of a community or you know strengthening your psychic abilities so door of dreams the door of dreams is a very very powerful card in your reading okay because this symbolizes that your door to happiness, to your hopes, your dreams is coming. The door of dreams is opening up for you. This is such, as I said, a powerful card because again, this is here where we have the new beginnings as well. So it kind of lets you know it's starting to open up for you now. You're starting to slightly lift open the future you're slightly starting to see what's in store for you what's ahead okay so hold on to the door of dreams as i said you have some type of dream or goal and this is letting you know the door is there you have found the door but you just haven't found out how to open that door okay so let's see what else is happening for you aries leo sagittarius Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else is in store? Okay. First we have growth. Okay, we have growth. We have earth. Okay, and we also have fire. Okay, so what's interesting um, about this is you are a fire sign okay so your fire element is showing up for you in your reading you know your fire zodiac sign again this is trying to get you to focus on working with fiery crystals like carnelian amber um fire quartz i'm hearing that you are beca gonna become so much more grounded because when you meditate as well you're putting yourself to see a whole new world. Door of dreams could also mean you're going to get a lot of um, intuitive dreams. So with uh, growth and earth, I feel like you are growing your own little field, your own little plants, where I feel like this is about you having some type of change in your life. Okay, so to have these elements here proves you have the determination, you have the drive, to get to this mountain because this earth corresponds to 
finding things you know this this is like a bone here you know it's all about seeking and searching so again we've got that strong hunter energy coming through where i feel like you are just gonna become a lot more stable in your life but you are growing something something is manifesting here so that is super super exciting so Aries Leo Sagittarius to make this an even more personal reading for you I have decided to give each of your individual sign a message so one will be for Aries one will be for Leo and one will be for Sagittarius okay so let's get a message for Aries Can we get a message for Aries? Okay, so we have your message. A message for Leo. Okay, we have a message for Leo. Can we get a message for Sagittarius? Okay, and we have a message for Sagittarius. Okay, so I'm going to read these messages here. So first we have, this is Mermaid's Secret Song. Follow the rhythm of your heart and let it guide you towards your true purpose. Okay, so this is Leo. Um, Aries, sorry. Aries. Okay, now we have Leo, which is um, Harmonious Kingdom Reigns. So this is embrace the power of harmony and balance in all areas of your life and trust that it will bring you peace and contentment and lastly for Sagittarius we have um, so we have the beauty's curse know that true beauty lies within and have the courage to embrace your inner light Wow <laughs> so those are just three personal messages that I have for you each individual signs but thank you so much for watching this reading Thank you so much for watching the collective and the pick a card and please leave me a comment like the video um, subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I am um, yeah I will be doing more of these types of videos if you do enjoy these I'm sending you so much love and light hello Capricorn Taurus Virgo welcome to your reading so this is a reading for earth signs okay Capricorn Taurus Virgo so let's see what is in the energy for you earth signs Capricorn Taurus Virgo what is in the energy please for Capricorn Taurus Virgo. What's coming for Capricorn Taurus Virgo? Okay, so first we have the Seven of Coins, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Two of Wands. Ooh. Oh, I'm receiving a lot of messages for you, Earth Signs. At the back of the deck, we have the Three of Wands as like the overall energy. So this is definitely suggesting there is something coming your way that is connected to travel, movement, something that maybe has perhaps, perhaps felt like something long distance. So for you, group number two, um, I'm seeing symbols of the evil eye, okay, or an eye. So this is definitely a symbol for you to be looking at at something very closely, okay. I feel like this is about having an open mind, open eye, to see something that's coming your way. I feel like you're being pointed at a direction. So what I'm seeing with the seven of coins here is like there is definitely something that is either to do with relationships or materialistic or career that is you're kind of focusing on right now you're trying to grow something in your life you're trying to take it somewhere so this is really about maybe you've started something but you haven't quite finished it so the universe is trying to tell you that you need to keep digging this shovel here definitely symbolizes that you need to keep digging for something because this is about you finding and discovering something amazing okay 
Um, here and there is a wish that you're wishing for, and I feel like um, this wish will be granted. I feel like there's no question about that. I'm sensing... I don't know why I'm sensing some type of, like... I'm hearing grave, like, as in, like... Okay, this is obviously a bit of top. I feel like someone's visited a gravestone. I, that just came through. Like someone's visited some type of gravestone recently or memorial. Is someone's anniversary or something coming up? But anyways, I'm hearing that you should be working with the crystal of moonstone or opal. Okay, so that crystal is very powerful because it's a super, super lucky crystal, okay? So this is really going to help you, Earth Signs. Um, also turquoise. Turquoise is a very common soothing stone connected to the heart chakra. I'm hearing something about you saving money. So money could be on the way. Something that you're investing in. Um, I'm hearing a lot of you are will be working with moon cycles. So then maybe look at the next moon cycle coming up because this is a powerful time for you to manifest. Okay. Um, there is a relationship here. The main center of your reading is this card here, which is the two of cups. Okay. So this is letting you know that there is a relationship involvement here, a relationship that's going to be in your life or coming into your life. Now this could be romantic, friendship, um, it could be work, colleagues, but there is a connection to two people having some type of connection. Okay, so that is positive. It's a it's a it's a good thing coming into your life that could get stronger. Um, I'm sensing a lot of intimacy as well, but I'm also sensing. Um, Feeling comfortable in your skin. I'm also seeing that you have um, a strong connection with the number three. You may see the number three, three, three a lot. Um, I'm also sensing six and ten. Okay, six and ten. And the number 28. Okay, those are corresponding numbers that you may see often. It will have some re um, relevance to you. So I just feel like you are being really, really patient with yourself. And I, fe I feel like I'm hearing like the planet of Venus of love and your emotions that you're connecting to something. Because you see we have two number twos. It's so, so powerful to get two number twos because this is about connectivity. This is about joining something. So you are becoming a part of something. And I feel like as well with the, the two of the ones, you know, this is really about looking for something to come in. And I feel like this crystal ball is a symbol to let you know that there is something ahead that you're going to start, you're going to see more of. But the fact that the three of wands is also... As, a, as an overall energy it's like you go you're going from one direction to the next because you whatever you are kind of like doing okay i feel like it is leading to something bigger it's leading to something else okay and for some of you you know your spirit animal right now could be a bumblebee now, bumblebees are sometimes, you know, they may look a bit scary, but they are very symbolic of being busy. They're very symbolic of being very intelligent because they're hardworking. So you have a lot of hard work coming your way. And I feel strongly, strongly connected to this reading is very connected to having very, very strong relationships. Um, very, very strong bonds with children, family members, relationships. But also very strong, like, money and drive energy. Okay, that's, you know, it's almost like you just want to keep doing something. You want to be productive. And that that will pay off for you, um, Earth Signs. That will definitely pay off for you. Okay. So, um, let's move on 
further into your reading okay also i'm seeing for you is um you may connect with colors of like purple purple red yellow can we find out more for earth signs capricorn taurus virgo I feel like there is definitely hidden intelligence here and it's being illuminated. So, can we find out more for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? Okay, so we have Grief. Oh, we have the Secret and we have the Magician. Okay, so instantly when I saw Grief, I saw that gravestone again. Okay. I saw that the stone or some type of memorial thing. So that's a specific message for someone tuning in. There is some type of grief you may have been experiencing. Okay. It could even be that connection to this two of cups. Okay. It could be grief from someone. The secret in the center. There is a secret energy here. Like. I feel like you are holding something in that maybe you need to release out. The secret to life, I feel like, is hidden within you. And you just need to find how to unlock the secret. Okay, so this is about things being hidden from you for a reason. But the fact we have the magician here, the magician card really lets you know that you are starting something you're manifesting something where you have all the tools to do this you have all the skill now because you are becoming more driven so it's like you're going through a transition of grieving something whether this is grieving a loved one a relationship a career that's going to lead to some secret knowledge. This secret here in the center is you being acknowledged. And I love how the colors are kind of running through your reading. We have this center of these beautiful blues. And then we have this passion energy over this way, which is the orangey colors. Yeah, so I'm definitely hearing like you're kind of coming out of a dark period into a brighter period. Okay. So... Hold on to that because when you get catch on to the secret, you know that secret ingredient. You know now what you can do to continue and to make something happen and to make it yours. So let's see what else is coming for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What is the energy for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? I'm hearing black and white movies. Black and white movies. We have, oh my gosh, we have labor. Oh, wow. We have achievement. Let's just move this up a bit. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And we have fear. Okay. This. It's so interesting because you have labor which is bumblebees you definitely do seem to have bumblebees following you symbolically this could be a symbol you see around you after this reading but there will be you'll see bumblebees again this could be on the telly this could be visual in person but this is really letting you know that your hard work is paying off okay your hard work is going to pay off and that's going to lead to some achievement Okay, there is a big achievement here. But we have fear. Now, fear is what holds us back. Fear is what stops us from initially going all the way. Sometimes, you know, we, we put ourselves out there. And then sometimes our own achievements can scare us. It's like um, applying for a job, hearing from them, and then you get scared because... You know the next move is to actually try 
and get that job and to pass that interview so it all leads in the same direction of you working on yourself to get past obstacles to pass the mountain to let go of grief let go of fear because then you can achieve so much okay and that's the secret maybe the secret here is that is to let go of your fear because you you can you can run you can run to the other side you can get through these obstacles if you're fast enough so i feel like this is really letting you know keep at it keep working hard be busy because you can achieve it you can achieve it okay so group um earth signs capricorn taurus virgo i'm going to get you an individual message for each of your sign i thought it would be very fair to do that so i'm going to start with capricorn can we get an individual message for capricorn okay capricorn can we get an individual message for taurus an individual message for taurus please okay and can we get one for virgo individual message for virgo individual message for virgo okay so first a capricorn we have courageous night quest stand tall and brave for you have the strength and courage to overcome any challenge <laughs> that's literally just what i said but yeah amazing so capricorn that's your message taurus we have perceptive detective souls pay attention to the details for they often hold the key to solving life's mysteries that's that secret energy there that we were talking about virgo we have sunset serenade okay so this is embrace the beauty and passion of love and let it fill your heart with joy and contentment okay capricorn taurus virgo okay so thank you so much for watching this video hopefully this gave you some clarity and insight and resonated don't forget to like comment subscribe um, if you do like these types of videos and thank you so much for watching the collective and the pick a card as well as your zodiac signs so i'm sending you so much love and light hello cancer scorpio pisces welcome to your zodiac part of the reading so this is for walter cancer scorpio pisces so just cleansing the area before we get started and my cards are charged with clear quartz so what is in store for cancer scorpio pisces cancer scorpio pisces what is in the energy for cancer scorpio pisces it's coming Okay, so first we have the lovers. Ooh. We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And at the back of the deck is the overall energy, we have the Knight of Cups. So there's definitely, you know, your zodiac sign showing up here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and I definitely feel like there could be a lot of messages of love coming in, okay? So, I'm hearing that you definitely are having, like, strong intuition about something. And well, the reason I say this is because I'm hearing, like, trust your gut. You've been sensing something recently. And I feel like you are possibly are right about this. I feel like with this lover's energy this is really about you kind of either knowing someone likes you or knowing something about a situation because i feel like a lot of you are going to be 
either loving something you're doing something you're experiencing or perhaps you're going to be in this loving relationship because what i'm seeing is two people like looking the other way when they should be looking at each other okay so i feel like for you water signs uh you should be definitely working with amethyst okay this is really going to help you with your intuition it's going to help you to see more clearly to help you to make decisions okay um i'm also seeing um the spirit animal for you as a magpie okay a magpie an eagle um possibly a bird of prey but i feel like with the magpie this is almost about like stealing things in terms of like catching what's yours so this is almost like leaving out breadcrumbs like if you feed something the time and attention that it needs it will give you something back this is about you know getting rewards so i'm sensing for you there is so much healing and harmony but as well as completions that's coming because the will of fortune again is about this end of a cycle the end of a chapter and I'm definitely hearing that something tall is coming, like it's big. And it's it's almost like um, I'm seeing like bay leaves and they're being thrown into a bowl and then they're being burned. And that, that is the strong energy of you like ridding something out of your life. But then maybe you are also trying to manifest and attract something in as well. So you will see the numbers 153... Five five two one or two three one. Okay, corresponding numbers to look out after this reading. Um but I feel a strong connection to you receiving so many signs and synchronicities and especially triangles. Like triangles are very powerful. They are symbolic of power, knowledge, ancient history and a portal for you to enter i think you'll be releasing a lot of heavy heavy weight that you've been carrying because you have felt strain from something now this tells me some of you may have felt strain from a relationship a career i feel like this is coming to an end now something is coming to a completion where you are realizing how you can dispose of a situation how you can conceal a situation and somehow you can influence a situation. Those are kind of like the three steps and things you're you're moving towards. So some of you definitely have finished a relationship and you're onto a new chapter and you are becoming you're meeting someone new. So that's what I'm also hearing for you as well. Some of you have a new relationship coming in. And others of you, I feel like there is there is almost this energy of where maybe the relationship, you didn't think it was going to go anywhere. And it's kind of picked up momentum. It's kind of starting again. It's starting some type of new chapter. Okay, um, I'm seeing a lot of you should pay close attention to palmistry. Um, maybe some of you are learning palmistry. But I feel like you should be studying like your love line, your health, your lifeline. It's going to be strong, trying to connect it to your blueprint, okay, of messages you need to know. Um, I feel like some of you may be learning another language or you may be teaching something that is very symbolic. And I feel like there's something very, very connected to like faith, religion, belief. I'm also hearing that message. Yeah, some of you really, um, I'm seeing like a fairy. I'm seeing a fairy that represents magic. It represents that anything could be possible. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a fireball of energy that's like turns into the shape of a fairy. <laughs> Again, you may be seeing fairies, symbols around you, but I feel like something's guiding you to connect with something and this a lot of you um may wear a cross around your neck you may be connected to a cross some of you is just a, a symbol of being very very committed to something 
so you definitely have a new chapter starting up okay a new new chapter um so let's see what else is in store for you a lot of i'm hearing like the the initial k whether this is a person a place so what's in store for water signs cancer scorpio pisces in store for Cancer Scorpio Pisces what's in store for Cancer Scorpio Pisces oh so straight off the first card that came out was protection and when I saw it I saw the cross again visually cross there is a symbol of protection that you carry around with you or you should be carrying around with you okay um there's just definitely like a guardian angel or a spirit guide something very holy i feel like this energy of you being in two or more places at one time so it's very very much like you having a very busy life schedule or or a feeling of like giving your time more to more than one person but this is a, a message to protect yourself protection is surrounding you which is a very positive message to have we have love and we have the faith so this is interesting because i almost feel <laughs> i almost feel for you cancer scorpio pisces i feel like your readings are always about love your readings are always quite emotional and I do sense for some of you there is definitely that energy coming through. Maybe someone is trying to steal someone you love. Trying to steal or copy what you have. Because I'm hearing copycat. Um, there's repetitive energy here. Because remember the thief. Uh, you know what now I'm here. Oh, this is so interesting the thief corresponds to magpies i said earlier magpies are thieves i said that sentence so that's so interesting the thief would come out because again it's corresponding to the fact that maybe someone wants what you have but that doesn't mean they're going to get it i feel like you are becoming some type of idol or some type of person who is irradiating a lot a lot of love and attention and i feel like this is just to remember to protect what you have because others will try and take it from you and this this represents anything this could even mean career um a job um money it could be relationships when we have something that someone wants we have to protect it we have to guard it if we love something we protect it you know it's same with animal instincts you know with their babies and everything <laughs> like what they're nesting they protect what they love so i think there's just a strong message for you to really protect what you love because you have love in the center so they're definitely the lovers love knight of cups love is coming love is coming in all forms for you cancer scorpio pisces whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship i just feel like strongly connected to that strongly connected to the color green as well so let's see what else is coming anything else you need to know a message for cancer scorpio pisces what's coming your way we have self we have home can we get another message for cancer scorpio pisces oh and we have failure Ooh okay i feel like someone is failing to steal something failure isn't your failure i feel like this is, could be a reflection on other people trying to again catch on to what you have the only way you fail in life is if you're not protecting what you have that's the only way you can fail but failure still leads to learning it's still a learning curve i feel like maybe this is something you fear as well failure rejection we have self and home so it just definitely clarifies that your heart 
okay is looking for something your heart is has been feeling quite cold and i feel like this is the energy of it needing some sense of new life you know this is about pumping the blood back into it and making it feel passionate so this is about self-love self-care working on your inner self because you have a home this home card this turtle represents protection the shell is a protection again we have protection the home is about being protected it's about being secure having a safe place so having a safe home foundation stability and a shell that can't be broken into the robin here it could be a message from a loved one you know a love a robin appears when a loved one is near okay wow very powerful messages so what i'm going to do for you now cancer scorpio pisces i'm going to give an individual message for each sign okay so each of you will get an individual message so can we get um a message for cancer an individual message for cancer individual message for cancer okay can we get an individual message for scorpio and can we get a message for pisces okay so cancer the innocence of a child's heart embrace the purity and wonder of a child's heart and never lose your sense of joy and curiosity okay so that's for cancer scorpio patiently waiting love trust that the love you seek is on its way and have patience as you journey towards it so it's interesting we have a love message come out because we have a lot of love in your reading and then we have pisces unconditional love bond of course we have another love card embrace the power of love in all its forms and know that it will always guide you towards happiness wow beautiful messages okay the child's heart connects to the self as well i feel so this is what i have for you cancer scorpio pisces thank you so much for watching this video hopefully this gave you some clarity and insight into your future um hopefully you enjoyed my collective message the pick a card as well as your zodiac don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos and I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Welcome to your zodiac reading for sun, moon, rising. So I'm just cleansing the area before we get started and my cards are charged with clear quartz. So let's find out what's happening for you Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is in the energy? What's going to happen? Positive changes. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is in the energy for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? So first we have the Magician, we have the Ace of Coins, we have the Herothant, and we have the Fool. So we have three major arcanas here, three major, major events. So we have the Four of Wands at the back, as the overall energy, so this is definitely guided towards some foundation measuring like your stability right now you have the symbol of the four leaf clover so good luck is definitely coming to you air signs and 
what I'm seeing to have three major arcanas here definitely represents that you really have started some brand new chapter here like something in your life has changed and you're adapting to that change because the magician is number one which is a new beginning you have the ace of coins which is, again is a new beginning and the fool is a new beginning so i'm just hearing new beginnings new beginnings new beginnings now symbols for you to look out for on this journey to let you know that this is the right choice and direction for you some of you may see pink flamingos okay pink flamingos okay i thought you should be working with the stone labradorite okay or blue crystals like lapis lazuli sodalite that's the type of crystals that i'm hearing for you um there is just this strong connection to you transforming into a diamond or something in your life has changed and you can't see it yet but it's turning into a diamond shape i'm seeing like um like a castle like you are reaching some type of height some type of engagement um so i definitely feel like with this magician and the ace of coins is there's just these new beginnings that are happening for you and it's maybe something that you know you was manifesting something you was thinking about doing so this could be something creative it could be some some a choice you've had to make for someone else i definitely can sense that there is money involved here or some something financially has come away i'm hearing the unions i'm hearing like admiration something's being admired here i think there's been so much transparency in your life at the moment but this there's, there's something coming eternal eternal like longevity you have been starting something and you didn't really think about where it would go okay but i feel like you're just getting so much knowledge i'm sensing so many miracles and i'm sensing the symbol of the unicorn the unicorn again will be a symbol that will show up to you now and then and this is a symbol again to let you know that magic can happen and that everything is working out fine okay because i'm sensing um there is this commitment here this commitment come in okay um you have some physical strength coming to you okay because now you have committed to something because you've committed to doing something you're becoming more aware with your own guidance i feel like you are being your own guru your own mentor you're learning so so much about yourself so so much because you're becoming more patient with yourself now this full card here definitely tells me that this may be a risk it may be a risk that may pay off for you it may not but you needed to do this i almost feel like this was something something that you started you've committed to it and now you've just got to see how this pans out but to have the four of wands at the back as the overall energy definitely tells me that you you've made some solid work here you've the work you've done has paid off so don't go back on it because i just feel like you are starting to learn so much more on this journey um i feel like some of you are getting into divination more divination practices whether this is tarot listening to more tarot or learning something um but what i'm being shown is the numbers 78 136 66 and 10 okay again corresponding numbers for you to look out for so there's definitely a vision of love here so no matter what what you are doing here it's out of love okay and i'm seeing like the letters b the letters c let's see what else we can find out when it comes to your reading aquarius libra gemini
Aquarius, Super Gemini. I'm actually hearing some of you are going to get engaged. A big diamond ring I'm seeing. Yeah. Greed. We have greed. What else do we have? But Aquarius, Super Gemini. We have death, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And reincarnation. Oh, very interesting. So this is very interesting because... I'm sending something materialistic. As I said, there's something about a diamond ring, a marriage, um, but the vision of love is definitely in, in your sight. So greed definitely corresponds to, you know, the universe making sure that you're not being greedy, that you're getting, you know, everything that you want because you've worked for it, because you've manifested it, and you are going to be very giving you want to give back to others because the vision of love is in sight okay so i feel like maybe you had too much or you had something in the past and maybe you took that for granted or it just wasn't at the time what you thought it was going to be and you kind of look back now and you've realized that you had everything you needed to make that work I feel like you are going through some huge transition. This is why you have to start again. This is why you're starting all over again. You're starting something new or you're, you have a new transition happening. Because you wanted something for yourself. And I feel like with this death card corresponds to a brand new beginning. Okay, remember death means a transition, a rebirth, a renewal. It's an ending. It's an ending of a good thing. So it means maybe you, the greed has ended. Okay. And now we have this reincarnation of something like growing, something being alive. To have reincarnation after death is amazing, amazing because it's again, something's being birthed, something's being created. Wow. Reincarnation. Very powerful message. So, let's see what else is in store for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini because I'm hearing like offering, like an offering we have permanence voice let me get another message for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini and we have luck ooh, I love this because we spoke earlier about luck with the four leaf clover that you may see so permanence is letting you know that there is something permanent coming. The fact that you have a new beginning, something being reinc like reincarnated, this is about having a new version of yourself. I feel like there is a new version of yourself and it's becoming a permanent one. And I feel like you're using your voice, you're, you're speaking up more, you're being vocal to tell others how you feel. Okay, and using your voice is going to change not only your world, but others around you. So permits could also mean you sign in a contract, a deal. Okay, voice again could be something you have to do to, to someone or in a career. And we have luck, okay, which again symbolizes that luck is coming your way, okay? Luck and abundant energy. So let's get you a message individually. So I'm gonna get you a message for each of the individual signs, okay? So can we get a, a message for Aquarius? Individual message for Aquarius, thank you. Individual message for Libra individual message for Libra individual message for Libra okay and then an individual message for Gemini okay so first we start with Aquarius 
Okay, so we have Okay, so we have sadness lingers. Know that sadness is a necessary part of the human experience and it will pass with time. Yeah, I feel like you Aquarius are going through sadness right now, but it will pass. It's a part of the human experience and this is that transition and, and renewal you're going through. Okay? So uh, Libra, we have enchanted fairy tale. Trust the magic of your journey and believe that anything is possible. Oh, what do we have here? We have like a fairy symbol, as I said, you may see. Then we have a Gemini, so Gemini. We have whisper and wind. Listen to the whispers of the wind for they carry messages of hope and guidance. Okay, so listen to your surroundings. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Thank you so much for making it to this part of the reading. I hope you enjoyed the collective message as well as the pick a card. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these type of readings. So thank you for sticking to the end of your reading and I'm sending you so much love and light.